Hey, it's B from Ikuri. Today is an app day. Let's roll. Okay, dev board, microcontroller, TFT board, lithium polymer battery. And for this project, I've got two click boards. Connecting laptop with dev board. That's all the ingredients. Now let's start building the project. Powering up the board. Connecting charger 26 click. Nice. Click ID feature identified charger 26 click. Let's insert some juice into this lithium polymer battery. That's neat. Okay, let's try to fool this click ID feature. I'm gonna insert the other click, E from 12 click. Just to make sure click ID feature recognize it as well. Okay, that's nice. Checking ID feature once again. Perfect. How you can perform this? Let's talk about it for a moment. First thing that needs further discussion is identifying the peripheral or click ID in short. Okay, number one, connect board to laptop. Number two, run Nectar Studio. Number three, type in click ID in the search box and install the package. Then, then I should explain this call, right? I will not focus on the application in the initialization phase. I will focus on the application task, the actual task this code is going to perform. And this task is actually going to be in infinite loop. This code is basically going to read the identification information of a clipboard. What is the information? Name of the clipboard, serial number of the clipboard, hardware revisions of the clipboard, some custom settings and type of the clipboard. Start the debug mode and make sure to run the code. And what you'll get is this, identification details of an add-on board. Now forget about it. Do not close the project. Just forget about it for a moment. Second thing that needs further discussion is using the peripheral or using the charger 26 click to be precise. After identifying this add-on board, this click, which can charge batteries, the second logical thing to be done is to actually charge the battery. Open the second project, one of which is going to charge the battery by typing in the name of the click in the search box. Okay, the code consists of two parts, boot sequence of the charger click, sort of speak, that's the first part. The second part, the charging process, the main functionality of the click. Then start the debug mode once again and make sure to run the code. And what you'll get is this, charging the lithium polymer battery in progress. Now forget about this project again. Chapter three would be provide some visuals or get me some result on TFT board in short. Abstracting via code is one thing, being able to visualize your result. Now that's something. Now open up another project, the designer project. This is the third project so far, which helps visualizing battery charging on a TFT screen. Once opened, the designer project will provide predefined code to start from. And here is the final touch, some visuals to populate the TFT board. Let's combine those three projects to get ourselves a prototype. After fusion of those three, this code is the code which showcased ClickID feature from the beginning of this video. Total number of lines, 108, including comments. What belongs to the main function? Two sub-functionalities, init routine and the actual application routine. What the application routine is going to perform? First thing, it is going to perform an ID check of a clickboard to understand what is its name. If click's name is charger26click and LiPo battery is not connected to the click itself, then the microcontroller should spit out just the main screen. In other case, battery had been connected to the clickboard and battery is in charging process, which situation is going to provide second screen on TFT board, the charging screen. And if you remember, I intentionally inserted another click EPROM 12 click into microbus slot one of the development board. And eventually this situation gave me third screen, informational screen, which told me to replace click with the charger 26 click. In all other cases, provide me with black screen on a TFT board. And where are the screens? Here they are. Screen number one, screen number two, and screen number three. Okay, that's it. That is it. This is how you can employ click ID feature to identify peripherals in your embedded design. Until the next time, think about your time optimization in the embedded world.